linear combination and spanning set. Write each of the following vectors as linear combination of i and j. So we have three parts to this question. Part A is x equals to 3 comma minus 5. B position vector p 3 comma 10 and c is vector directed at an angle of 60 degrees with magnitude of 5. Now as you know i and j forms a spanning set for R2. That means each and every vector in R2 can be represented as a linear combination of i and j. Right? So let's write down these vectors as a linear combination of i and j. i is a unit vector along x-axis and j is a unit vector along y-axis. So the vector x equals to 3, 5 can be written as 3i minus 5j, right? So vectors, you can either write them bold or with this kind of an superscript or with a bar and arrow, right? Position vector p can be written as 3 is the x component and 10 is the y component. So 3 is along x-axis, that means i. So it is 3i plus 10j. Now here we have a vector directed at an angle of 60 degrees with magnitude of 5. So let's try to see what this vector looks like. So we have a vector here which is at 60 degrees. So let's say this is 60 degrees and the magnitude is 5 for this, right? So if you drop the perpendicular, then the x component will be 5 cos theta, which is 60 degrees. And the y component will be 5 sine 60 degrees. So you can use your calculator and calculate the value for x and y components. This is 5 cos of 60 degrees, right? Or you can also use your standard triangle, right? In trigonometry, we took help of a triangle. So this is our 60 degrees triangle, right? Now, if it is 60 degrees, the side lengths are in the ratio of 2 is to 1 is to square root 3. So, cos of 60 is half and sine of 60 is square root 3 over 2. So, we can use these values also, right? They actually will give you the exact values. So, you can write this vector as equal to the magnitude is 5 and the x component will be 5 cos of 60 degrees. Cos of 60 degrees is half, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So we can write this as 5 times cos of 60 degrees, which is half i. This is along x-axis. Plus, the vertical component is 5 sine 60, which is square root 3 over 2. So it is 5 times square root 3 over 2 j. So that is how you can represent this vector as a linear combination of i and j. I hope now you understand how we can write every coordinate in R2 or every vector in R2 as a linear combination of i and j vectors. And therefore we say that i and j forms spanning set for R2. Thank you.